going to try to do this in sort of a Dear Brian style because this is something I learned tonight. And it's something that I've had trouble dealing with for a very long time. And it's really nothing that has to do with what's been going on over the past couple of weeks, couple of months, even past year or so, what started all of these videos in the first place. I've always had a hard time showing emotion. And you'll watch my, you know, the, the last couple of videos that I did, and you'll be like, Brian, that's bullshit. <laughs> You're pretty good at showing emotion. But I'm, I'm very guarded. I'm very much, like, I, I will get to that point where I feel like I want to, you know, punch a wall or just break down crying or, you know, just, just be, just feel, be empathetic, be vulnerable. And I can't. I've always stopped myself just short of that, just short of that. And it hasn't been, and it's taken, it's taken my, my doctor until last week to finally get me to the point where I was angry enough about my situation for me to break down. And he said that was a very revealing moment. And one of the things that he had said to me that was just, just he was very uncomfortable. He said it was as hard as him as it was for me. And one of the things that he said to me was that I had asked the question as these tears were rolling down my face, asking, do I have to get to this point every time I want to make a point? I was angry. I was crying. I was lost. I was vulnerable. And he said, yes, because it shows authenticity. Authenticity. People have called me genuine in the past, and they've called me like, I, you know, I, I it, you know, they say my, my feelings are always on my shoulder, always readily available to be viewed. But it took me till that in order to actually cry, in order to actually display the amount of emotion that it would take to show the gravity of what I was feeling at that moment. And even in my video saying goodbye to Twitch, so many people said that they, were, they had teared up, they cried. But I was sitting there, I just remember the feeling when I was making that video of how much I wanted to just break down, but couldn't. I felt for the longest time, for, for about maybe, I don't know, 10 years or so, that I, I felt like a doll at times. I just couldn't do it. Is it societal? Is it just me not wanting to expose that part of myself? Did I, I felt it wasn't needed? That I could pass points off with only getting to that point and not having to break down and lose control over myself? But if you watch my previous videos on dealing with control, is that control is the opposite of vulnerability. Controlling my emotions prevents me from being truly vulnerable. And I was truly vulnerable two times in the past couple of weeks. One, after I sang Piano Man and I went to my friend Jack's arms, friend Siri, Imagine, and the rest of them, and just bawled for what felt like half an hour or longer. And then last week in therapy, when I didn't feel like what I was going through the last five months since TwitchCon, feeling that I was alone, feeling like that wasn't important, that it wasn't important enough to stand on its own as something that I really should feel like I should be able to reach out and cry about. It's going to take me a long time to get used to this new reality. It's going to take me a long time and probably a lot of a lot of good, good cries to be able to feel okay with crying. But to you, Brian, I say this. It's okay to cry. It's okay. It's authentic. It's necessary. It's cathartic. And God damn it, Brian, you just need to do it sometimes.